Hi, everybody. This is Pastor Susan, and welcome to our final day of devotions this week as we are looking at the phrase, come and see. And as we're thinking about our theme for this new year of gathering, um, the, the choice that you and I have to do that, we all have a choice. Um, but here's the thing. I want us to remember that the choices that we make really can lead us to life and growth and God's will and way for our lives, or the choices that we make can go in a different direction. And so today, uh, I want to remind us of a passage of scripture from 2 Corinthians um, chapter 5, verse, verse 17. It's just one verse of scripture. And I want us to remember that as we are beginning a new year. Um, I love the fact that the new year is a time for us to reset. Um, not necessarily to make some unrealistic goals for ourselves, but just a chance to reboot, um, to start again. And, um, and I want us to remember this passage of scripture as we do that. Um, it's one that we can commit to memory um, because I think that this is not something that just happens one time, but it happens over and over again. This is what the Apostle Paul says to the Corinthians. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. If anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. And I, I think about the fact that in my life, that new creation continues. It continues every day that I am willing to step into God's realm. And that is an intentional thing because we do get to choose, right? We get to choose who we are going to serve and what we are going to serve in our lives. And so um, this time of the year gives us that opportunity to reevaluate where we are, where we want to be in our lives, whether it's um, our family lives, personal lives, spiritual lives, um, professional lives. We get to make choices. And my prayer for you and for me today is that we recognize that God is at work in our lives and God wants us to be molded again and again, to be a new creation, to let the things that need to pass away, pass away and to allow the new things that God wants to do in our lives to happen in our lives. One of the ways we can do that, we can choose is to not forsake ourselves for gathering, as is the habit of some. And certainly, this is Hebrews 10, 24. Do not forsake the cells, yourselves from gathering, as is the habit of some, but encourage one another to gather, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. The day drawing near can be the day of Christ coming back. It can be the day of our um, the end of our lives, because we don't know. But each and every day is an opportunity for us to begin anew with, with the choice. I've decided to follow Jesus today. My prayer for you and for me is we will choose to gather, that we will choose to follow Jesus, that we will choose the things that lead to life in your life, in mine, and in our world. Friends, the day is approaching for all of us. And the day is today for all of us. So how will you choose to live your life this day? Let's pray together as we offer ourselves once again to the Lord, just as we are. Loving and gracious God, we give you our thanks for this day, a day when we are reminded that we get to choose who we will follow. We get to choose the kind of life we will lead. We get to choose 
your way over the world's way. And we get to choose how we will gather so that we can be encouraged and lifted up and in, and inspired to live the life you call us to. And so God, today, my prayer is a prayer of blessing for each of us that we might step into your realm and look and see and experience what you have for each of us. We love you, God, and we give you our thanks for your great love for us that has been made known to us in Christ Jesus. Amen and amen.